hey, hey, it's your old buddy Dave. I said I was going to do a, an Arkanoid restoration video. Quite a, quite a bit of uh, reflection from my screen. Uh, I said I was going to do an Arkanoid restoration video. And I guess here it is. Um, how to get started. Because it starts out kind of boring, to be honest. And that's, that's because, well, I had a filthy, dirty cabinet. And I started by washing it down. Here, I'll show you a couple seconds. See, I told you that was really exciting. Well, that went on for a while. Ultimately, I decided that it really wasn't quite getting it clean the way that I wanted it to. So, well, that's, I'll show you what comes next. It's like... There's this black stuff all over it. Like it was next to a coal furnace or something. It's coming off, but man... I almost need just a bucket of water. Maybe I'll try that. And so that's actually what I did. I got a bucket of water, soapy water, like with uh, dish detergent. And I scrubbed up and down the sides of both sides of it. And it helped. But it was long and uh, it still smelled like smoke it did. <clears throat> so... It was okay. It needed to be done, but this came from a smoker's house, and there's a lot more to go. It's another great day in Indiana, and it's still here. I took soap and water yesterday and ended up washing this thing down, and for the insides, It's a bag of charcoal, not necessarily the kind that's, that's soaked in lighter fluid, it's just basic charcoal. And there's a few bricks laying around in there, because I've heard that that soaks up the smell of smoke. And I'm thinking between this and um, just cleaning out the insides, like washing down the, wiping down the sides and the um, like washing out with simple green that it should take care of it the uh, or it, it should take care of a lot of the smoke smell the back I did wash with simple green but what you might notice from the back you can definitely see it on the top um, looks like somebody painted a room with this thing in it and didn't cover it up at all so as a result, there's a, a whole bunch of paint splotches on here. And uh, turn it sideways a little bit. On this side, I don't know if you can see it on the video. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can kind of see it. You can, or I can, with my finger go over and it's going to take some time if I can get these to come off they seem to want to pop off and then after they're off um, wash it down with soap and water or simple green or something and especially these little small ones like next to the T here about pots and pans in the kitchen. That, that goes a long way towards it. So it's gotten most of it, I think, like with a little bit of cleaner. It's like, it feels smooth now. This one here on the A, which you may not be able to see, the black ones show up better. I, I still feel a roughness to it, and it catches on my fingernail. So I want... I want to get all of these off, and I think that shouldn't be too bad. The hardest part is where you've got like 
uh, ugh, ones like this where it's a little bit thicker just takes a little more work as far as the back door I've decided since nobody sees the back door I'm going to unbolt it from the top and the bottom take off the hardware I'm not going to do anything except clean the inside of the door but the outside I am going to sand it and paint it just to make it look better the top I'm not going to worry about going over that with my fingernail. Um, I am going to sand and paint that as well. Since the lock is missing, I'll get new locks for it. And I mean, it's already smelling a whole lot better. I mean, if I get right up to it, I smell more supple green than I do smoke. I still need to. Um, key moldings all coming off. This is the textured stuff. I'm I like smooth. It's also kind of torn up in places, like right there where the cord is. That's the big old chunk out of there. So, um, the cord, if nothing else, I'll replace it just for some peace of mind. This uh, plug here, it's not, there's no strain relief at all. So, at least none for the outer jacket. So, somebody's probably yanked on it at some point. But I really want to get to the front. But family duties have kept me away this weekend. I'm lucky I had time to clean it. So here it sits. So I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, I'm hoping that the monitor can be adjusted uh, just for the focus. And I hope a little bit of cleaning will take a lot of that off too. If not, I may have to rejew it. I'm like, there is a label on the side down here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It has a model number on it. I can't read it unless I want to try to take a picture of it. Um, prefer not to pull the monitor if I don't have to. You could probably use a cap kit. But um, I'm not. Uh, not seeing any. It's dirty as heck. I'm not seeing any like capacitors on the board that are bulging or anything. But we'll see. And that was all I did for that day. In fact, several weeks went by. Between what you saw there, which was like a day or so after the initial pickup, and when the next thing happened, and, but there were other things that was up to you that will be the subject of future videos. So <clears throat> for now, we, uh, we pick up with the time when I actually did get back to the cabinet, and I'll explain what's going on there. Well, this started has just a job to uh, measure how much tea molding I was going to need going around the edges. And I did do that. But as you can see, the control panel's off. The plexiglass is off. It's down there. There was a shroud that I just got off. And The monitor, as I suspected, was filthy. I'm, I'm not done. I had to go get some paper towels, which I just stuffed in the car here. So, can I do some more cleaning with simple green on the monitor and see what kind of a picture we've got? But uh, as, I, as you can see, there is some burn in. And I see the word Taito on there. It's probably Arkanoid Burn-In. But with an Arkanoid game and Dark Plexi, I don't think that will be a big issue. So let's, uh, I'm kind of wondering if the monitor is even out of focus. So we'll, uh, may do a little cleaning here and then I'll plug her in and we'll see what 
picture. Though. And this is what the monitor looks like after basic cleaning and simple green. It's actually looks quite a bit better than than I thought it would. Just goes to show you uh, what can actually be on there. The um, there was a little bit of roll when it first was warming up, and I think we could still play with the focus a little bit. Um, the top, the, the high score, and the one player, that seems, well, I suppose the whole thing as far as the, as far as the quality of it goes. I was thinking maybe that was, I think the whole thing is just out of focus or I'm just too used to uh, HD monitors TV but uh, overall I think it looks okay uh, if you look real closely you can see the burn in it's mostly around where the where the words are like of this uh, screen right here the Taito and 1986 Taito America etc that you can read like on screens like this and screens where it's darker down below once you get that what's up but you can't really tell it here well, like on a green background and with that plexiglass over it i think that will just take away everything uh, i have not cleaned the plexiglass yet but anyway i think i'm gonna well i'm definitely gonna leave it off for tonight the uh the shroud that also I'm sure it could stand a good cleaning. But the sun is sinking low. So I'd call this a success. Um, definitely going to take the control panel back off. Right now I don't have it locked down. But it's. But it, it needs a cleaning. It's like something. I swear somebody was painting in the room with, that this was in. So, and this looks just like smoked plexi over here, which mm, I don't know if I'll. I suppose I could put any kind of plexi on clear, whatever. I could use this one as a template for drilling new holes. But I don't need to worry about cleaning this one up. I just need to clean up uh, the cabinet. I'm not sure whether or not the insides of this needs paint. There are some smudges. You can kind of sort of see it there. Uh, paint. Or if I just leave it looking old. And it looks like there's only one bulb going up there. So that will need to be replaced. But for the time being, I'm going to leave the... Uh, leave the everything off of here that'll help it get some air and lose that smoky smell i was surprised that uh i think the charcoal has been working uh getting rid of the smell and then we can always use it for camping later too but for now it's uh i mean it smells old but I can't say that it really smells like smoke. No. There's definitely some... I don't know if it's drywall, joint compound... No, that's paint, like back here down at the bottom. But there's other things on the side. There's some... Like this stuff here. That's not a scratch. That's something that's rubbed onto it, which... I should be able to get off. So overall, I think the sides, the outside of it's going to be okay. I still need to take a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to it. But anyway, today is April 30th, 2015, and I haven't uh, had time to do much to it, but uh, definitely want to get it down the basement soon. But uh, not going until it's ready. Well, it's another day and some more time working on the old cabinet here. Uh, today, got out the air compressor. I blew out 
lots and lots of dust out of here. Probably the most notable thing, if you look at the power supply down there, most of the dust is off of that. Blew off dust off the monitor and PCB everywhere it could be. Hopefully it still works after this. I got out the simple green and was cleaning up in and around here. And as a testament to just how filthy it is, there you go. It's a little bit of it on the inside. So, um, also took off the T molding. It only went from the back corner here down to the front corner down there. And I do have some more T molding on order. This is the textured stuff. I don't know if you can tell or not. Textured with splotches of paint. It's kind of got chunks out of it in places. Team molding that I ordered is smooth. So uh, that I think will be nicer. I still need to. There's some team molding across the top here. But as you can see, I took off the marquee. The uh, bar for it is over there, and the marquee itself is down there in need of some cleanup. I'll take it and the control panel down to the basement and work on it there. Still haven't decided what I want to do. I, I don't like the smoke plexi on there, I know that, because you can't read the instructions. But the thing is filthy as all get out, so. Something needs to be done with it anyway. That's enough out of you. So something needs to be done with the control panel. But for now, uh, I did look at the front of the cabinet and was noticing these bolts here. Those bolts the thing is just bolted together, so this whole front should come off, which I think I've decided I'm going to just take it off, sand it, paint it, and I wasn't planning on doing it, but as long as I've got it out, um, I think I'll sand the insides here. They are kind of rough, like there's, I'm not sure what's going on with them. Sand them down. This top panel, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. <clears throat> I may just give it a light, give it a sanding. St put some tape over the insides of this and paint it too, and everything will match. Although, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably have to tape over this. This is plastic, although it's kind of been chewed up. How much you want to bet it's from a cigarette? So, anyway, I think that's the plan. It's a beautiful day. It's May 2nd, and probably won't take off the front until I know I'm going to paint it, which probably won't be this weekend. Today, it's just clean up as much as I can, because times I'm going to run out of time. Family duties are going to call, and May is a busy month. But the goal, I'll make a goal right now, say, I want to have it done by the end of May. I think that's more than attainable. Disassembly continues. Got the uh, marquee lights off and gonna get ready to clean them up. I took the bolts off from the inside flange that should hold the front door on. Something else is holding it on and I do, don't see what. Back door went closed. I can go first though. I haven't really tried getting the grass recently. This is the back side of the reflector. This kid, this is why you shouldn't smoke. 
because this is build up cigarette smoke. It's coming off real well. <clears throat> but it's on here. Now I just got done giving this plexiglass to go over with the simple green and they got a ton of stuff off. I still need to give it a final uh, go over with Windex, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. But like, there's some of the crud that came off of it, not to disgust you too much. The uh, getting ready to tackle the control panel, which is going to mean taking off the buttons and the knob and uh, giving that a good clean up. This is interesting. What's underneath here apparently once had four buttons across. Not sure what it was. Um, gonna peek under or try to peek under see if I can get a idea of what it was once I get some of these uh, bolts out of here. But anyway, uh, this whole thing needs cleaning. And here's the latest update on things. As you can see, this is the control panel, but it's the pile of clutter. <coughs> and if you look closely, you will see that the plexiglass is off of the top of it. And I've gone over this with simple green. It's actually pretty nice. I did find online where I could get reproduction of these. Of this uh, blue overlay. However, uh, it's it's uh, the hard part I would have is these stickers here. And although I did find the artwork for it, as far as being able to print it out onto an adhesive backing. I'm not so sure about that. I'll have to look around. If I can find it, I might just tear this all off, repaint it. If not, it because this part here is cracked, and my alternative would be to try to glue this black back down flat. Um, don't know how well that would work though. We're missing a chunk of it here, and I could glue down this O and preserve the O and ROM star. I'd really like to replace it. So, thing is, can I print this out well enough to to make it look good? I do have an instruction card that I bought that tells what the that shouldn't work. Away. I do have an instruction card that tells what these. Uh, pellets do that you catch. So, um, don't know where that, how I would fit that in, but I did get it <coughs> with the hopes of that. Let's see, as far as the uh, spinner goes, it's a little bit interesting getting that off. Um, had to, well, it was still mounted in the panel take off the little nut at the top, the small wrench, pull that off, and then get into this, uh, yeah, oh there it is, the, just underneath the gear, there's a clip, it's not showing up very well, little metal clip, grab it, pull that with some needle nose pliers, pulled it off, and then that allowed the whole thing to come out from the control panel. I've cleaned on the knob a little bit. It needs a lot more. But as far as the surface stuff goes, um, cut to the chase, this is the smoke plexiglass. And I've gone over it with simple green. There are, I hold it up to the light. You can see the cigarette burns on it. And I can probably get that to clean off, but I don't think I want to get it to clean off. This whole thing, this whole smoke plexiglass, did stick pretty good to the 
the um, Romstar underlayment there. I don't know what else to call it. So I took a screwdriver and gently pried up and the thing eventually popped free. I'm going back and forth. Hopefully you can tell it. This is a nice blue. This, this was well preserved from the smoke. If you look at the front edge, I don't know if you can tell the difference. This has a distinct it looks green to me. I think it's just a brown coating. And, I think, and if you look down at like the holes here, you can see the, the blue surrounded by green. And it's like that for everyone. That's where the bolts were going through. So you know this whole background is blue. It just got discolored through years of smoke and people touching it with their hands and I wouldn't be so worried about cleaning it up it's just the these broken parts here that's what's but I'm not sure I can handle as far as the smoke part of the plexiglass I did pick up some Lexan which I'm thinking I'm going to use to replace it. And I don't believe it is nearly as thick. No, it's not. But it's just a, a light protector. Something to go between the buttons and the surface. The Speaking of the buttons, the whole control panel harness is right here, which we'll bring over to the portable workbench. And let's see, can you see? Oh, st I haven't cleaned anything at all on them. They're filthy. So, what I've decided to do is do nothing with them. Nothing with these, that is. But um, since all they do is control the leaf switch down below, I'm replacing them. And I got a box in, sitting in on the kitchen uh, which has replacement white and red buttons that are going to be going in here. So I'll go ahead and clean up the harness and I'll clean up the button holders. I have new PAL nuts. Uh, but as far as the buttons themselves, yeah, I suppose I could take them apart because all it is is just a clip there. I don't know. I might try taking them apart, seeing what, uh, seeing how they look. Because if I can, pulling out the center piece out of the ring. I could probably get in there well enough to clean it, but why do that when you can just have something that's totally brand new? And so maybe I will clean it up and throw it in a box for future use for something I don't care so much about. So, so that is the control panel. The cabinet is still over there as it was before. May is an ultra busy month. Once we get to the end of the school year, things will slow down enough that I can make some meaningful progress. I said I was going to get this done by the end of May. That's yeah, not going to happen. So, what I have now is a plan. And I will publish this video. And as far as part two of it, I believe that will be maybe just the sanding of the insides and painting, which is basically everything going back together. And sanding, painting, and I still have to clean the sides, paint the back, and replace the cord. But it's, uh, I think it's going to turn out okay. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Coin bucket, I haven't touched that. That's going to need a simple green bath as well. So, but this is 
enough for now, enough that I'm going to put out my progress, the video of that, so you can see what's going on. And then I'll show you what else has been going on. That may not come till next weekend, but we'll see. Stay tuned, there's always something going on. Well, that's the latest update as of this afternoon, which is Sunday, yep, Sunday, I changed the calendar, it's May now, Sunday, May the 10th. And we'll see where it goes from here. The next step is going to be some sanding and work on the cabinet itself. So, if you like my video, if you like the channel, if you want to follow the project, click the subscribe button, which is down there somewhere. Uh, and you can get updates when I release a new video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't give it a thumbs up. But uh, do click the subscribe button and stick around. There's more to come.